I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about a syndrome that millions of people across the world have. And we're probably not aware that we have this syndrome that is affecting the way we live, our health, the health of our relationships, our career, whatever we do. So whether you're that kind of person right now who's struggling to lose weight and no matter what you do, you're unable to lose that weight. If you're that kind of person who constantly keeps falling sick, of course, there's a small population of people that no matter what happens, they fall in a category where nothing can really be done. But I'm talking about the whole lot of population that suffers from the KAS syndrome. You may be in a job right now where you're struggling to grow. You may be in a career which is not something that you like doing. You may be in relationships which are toxic that are draining you of energy every single day. Okay, so what KAS really is, no, it's not skin cancer, it has nothing to do with cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, or anything like that. <clears throat> KAS is the syndrome of knowledge action syndrome. The knowledge action syndrome is very, very simple. All of us have the knowledge of what we have to do. We just don't take that action to do it. And that is the bitter and ugly truth. We know that we shouldn't be overeating, uh, but yet we don't take that action and yet we binge eat, we binge drink and we do all of those things. We all are aware of the importance of sleep. That's the knowledge. We have the knowledge, but we don't take the action to make sure that our sleep is sufficient for our body. We're all aware we have the knowledge that we're in a job that we don't like. Our bosses aren't good. Our colleagues are not good. We have the knowledge, but we don't take the action to leave that job. We're all stuck in relationships. Some people are stuck in relationships. When I say relationships, it doesn't have to be your husband, wife, your lover. It could be your parents, your siblings. We have the knowledge of what is affecting that relationship, but we don't take the action to make it better. Instead, we resort to complaining, blaming, victimizing ourselves, finding fault with everyone around, or looking for more knowledge to help us feel better. The simplest example are self-help books and spiritual books, which we love reading. When we read it, we feel motivated, we feel good inside, but our lives don't change unless we take action. So if a spiritual book is teaching us to be compassionate and to be kind, but we don't practice that, we don't action it, it only stays at a spiritual book. And that feeling of feeling good only happens every time we pick up the same book to read it over and over again. You can attend a hundred chanting classes and chant every single day of your life. But if you don't action what you learn and what you practice, it's not going to work. You can do your yoga classes, your gym classes and all of that stuff that teaches you posture and how to maintain yourself. But if you don't action it after your one hour of yoga or gym class, this is the syndrome that is affecting all of us. And what we need to understand, the reason, why aren't we able to action what we know? I always give the example of 100 people passing out of a world-class university. It could be Yale, Howard, whatever it is, okay? But those 100 people should have the top jobs in the world because they had the same education, the same knowledge, the same teachers, the same experience. But all of them are unable to put that knowledge into action, which is why none of them, I mean very few of them, will reach the top positions. It's the same thing that happens in our life every single day. And the bitter and ugly truth is, number one, accept it. Accept the fact that most of us have the knowledge, but we're unable to action it. We're so good at talking about the latest fad diets and you know exercise programs and who's doing what and why the country is falling apart and blaming governments and doing all of that stuff. You may be right, you may be wrong, but where's the action coming from? Where is the action coming? Are you contributing to making that knowledge or translating that knowledge into action that can bring a positive impact in your health, relationship, career, your country, your city, your village, or wherever you live? So that's why we call it a syndrome because we're living with that syndrome, knowledge, action, syndrome. Today at the tip of our fingertips, we can Google, we can YouTube, anything we want. Right now, if you're feeling lonely, you can Google how not to feel lonely and you'll find Article after article telling you how not to feel lonely, but unless you put that into action, what you learn into action, guess what? You'll still be lonely. Most people struggling to lose weight, the first question you ask them, what are the top three reasons you think you're unable to lose weight? And they'll tell you those three reasons and that's their solution. They only need to start actioning that. Of course, there's a small population of people who will have sickness which is unexplained, which, who will have problems which is unexplained. I'm talking about everyone else. So if you wanna say something that's gonna change your life, you should say it instead of keeping it inside. If you wanna tell someone that you love them, you have the knowledge that, yeah, I love them, action it tell them don't just keep it in yourself all the time 
If you have the knowledge, action it. You want to forgive someone. Everyone knows how difficult it is to forgive. We have the knowledge of how forgiveness can change our life, but we just don't action it. Okay, you want something, ask for it. Ask for it instead of you know building your own stories and illusions in your mind. You have the knowledge that if you ask for something, it can make you feel better. But you don't action it because you're scared of disappointment, you're scared of rejection, you're, you're scared of, an, of a negative answer. You know what it takes to lose weight and have a healthy lifestyle, action it. Action it immediately. Don't go on searching for new ways that console your mind to think that everyone's doing something, so I should do the same thing. So we have everything at our fingertips, but we just don't do it. If you have the knowledge that, hey, I'm not progressing in my career because I'm lazy, or I don't have enough of skills, action it, don't be lazy. So it all comes down to self-discipline. The obstacles, the obstacles that come between this, you know, action requires self-discipline. We don't take action because one, we're lazy. Two, we don't have self-discipline. Three, we have low self-worth. Four, we're insecure. Five, we have inflated egos and prides, and that is the bitter truth. Okay, and everyone has that. You may, you may think right now, I'm, my life is perfect and I've got it all sorted out for me and stuff. No, absolutely not. There are many things which I know which I should action too. And I have to rise beyond my own fears and insecurities to action that. It's the same with all human beings, but this is the bitter truth. And we human beings, especially this generation, we're trying to search for more complicated ways. We want to look for that perfect pill that will increase this perfect level in our body when all we need to do is probably sleep a little more. You know, we are looking for that perfect fat burner that's going to burn off that ugly, stubborn fat. But all we know, all we need to really do is we need to, we need to zip our mouth when we're overeating or eating too much. We have that knowledge, but it comes down to the truth. You see, the funny thing about truth, everyone wants the truth and everyone wants honesty. But no one knows how to deal with it. No one knows how to deal with something that someone tells them when it's too honest for them. They don't know how to deal with it. So we live in this fictitious world where, oh, give me the truth. Give me honesty and all of that stuff. And someone walks up and tells you, hey, listen, you're going to lose weight if you learn how to just zip your mouth shut and not overeat. But people don't like to hear that. They want a complicated plan. They want a complicated pill, a complicated strategy. They want to feel that they're doing a lot when the, sim when the solution is simple and very, very uncomplicated and mostly inexpensive and it does doesn't cost you any money. So if you have the KAS syndrome, which is knowledge and action, these are things that you need to reflect on, you need to meditate on, you need to introspect into your life. What are the no what's the knowledge that I have? And if I action that particular knowledge, you don't have to action all the knowledge that you have if it's not gonna make a change in your life. But if you know that this particular knowledge that I have, I only need to action it and my life can change then that self-help book or that spiritual book or that diet or that exercise program is gonna be valuable for you. It's gonna start working for you. But you can have all the knowledge in the world like we already have. We have one thing that's missing, the ability to action the knowledge that we have. And that's exactly what the KAS syndrome is. So knowledge, action, knowledge, action, implement. Without action, it only stays knowledge and knowledge is useless unless it is organized and used. Knowledge becomes power when it is organized and used. Unle un un unless you implement it, it only stays as knowledge and that's not really gonna impact your life in any way. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.